Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. So in this video, I will introduce or remind you of the piezometric head. So again, this is a groundwater course. So a lot of the uh, transport equations that we'll see in the next uh, course objective are based on head. And you know, the concept of head is really important to understand uh, water flow in general. Uh, so this is just a short reminder of what head is. Okay, so here's an illustration of the Hoover Dam uh, and the Hoover Dam Bridge during its construction. So this is just a new bridge that they opened, you know, some years back now, uh, because before you had to go, you know, on the dam, and then now you can just cross right here. Okay, so the concept of head, right? I mean, the reason we do we build dams basically for water resources is mostly for electricity and for storage. Uh, but you can see here the head is basically this huge expanse of the Hoover Dam. This is a really big dam. Uh, just a quick personal story. I was once on a little boat down here uh, looking at it you know, from below and it's quite impressive. Uh, so if you go to the Grand Canyon, you can actually go and uh, see it from up top. A really huge structure. And again, the goal here is to store the energy as potential energy and then you know run that water through the turbines obviously to create electrical power so the head is you know the concept of head is basically the energy uh, that the water carries okay so go ahead give it a turn work better under pressure right so the, the concept of head and pressure are related right so when you're at you know high pressure typically that means there's a high head so in, in fluids right we think of almost the force of the fluid as a pressure. Uh, and here's another example of what that might be. What is pressure really? And here's a swimmer in a pool, whoops, <clears throat> going in, right? Uh, diving into the pool, going at some depth, B, and then finally coming out, you know, at some distance. Okay, and the question is, well, what is the pressure at A, B, and C, right? Is the pressure at A and B the same? Is the pressure at A, B, and C the same? B and C, so on and so forth, right? So intuitively, we should know or understand that when we're at the same depth, right, the pressure is the same. And as we go deeper, the pressure increases, right? So everybody, again, from your own ex experience, should know that as you go deeper, the pressure is higher, okay? So here's a worked out example of um, what that is. And really the point here is that P plus gamma Z is constant. So gamma is the specific weight, again, explaining that first uh, line here, right? The specific weight is just the density times the gravity, right? So this is the specific weight in Newton per volume, okay? So the pressure plus a specific weight times the depth, or times the elevation, I should say. So Z here is the elevation from a datum. So Z is this way, right? So again, that means that the pressure here plus the elevation is the same than the pressure here plus the elevation. So you can see how if those two things are equal, that means because the elevation is less, there's more pressure, right? If there's less elevation at B, so there's more pressure because those two things are constant. In a static fluid, right, the elevation and the pressure compensate each other. So the deeper you go, right, the more pressure there is. And again, you can look at the numbers here. So these are like standard numbers for water, uh, and if we say it's constant, we can actually calculate uh, the pressure at point B here, which is again higher. So if you look at the pressure at point B, is higher than the pressure at point A. Okay, so this is a quick review of the concept of pressure. Now, the head, again, going back to the head, is just a normalized expression for this... Um, universal, if you will, law that says that the pressure plus the elevation is constant. So if we divide the pressure by that gamma, by that specific weight, again, specific weight being uh, rho times g, so the density times the gravity, 
So if we divide through by gamma, basically you get P over gamma plus Z is constant. And now look at this. Z, the elevation, is just a length, right? It's just meters. I'm three meters above the bottom of the pool. I'm one meter above the bottom of the pool. So you take a datum, you take a reference point, and then Z is just the elevation above that, so that's just meters. And then P over gamma is also in meters. So units must be consistent or dimensions must be consistent. So now we have the pressure head expressed as a length, and this is really uh, the notion of head. So the head is really, um, you know, it expresses the energy in the fluid uh, in dimensions of length, in like meters. Um, here at the bottom left, you, you have an illustration. Uh, this is actually for a slug test, what we call a slug test. And again, um, I invite you to go and check out that uh, Wells Hydraulics um, uh, module because we explain you know, how we do Wells tests, etc. Uh, but this is just an example. The way you can measure the depth to the water table is similar where you drop basically a sensor that beeps when you reach the water table. Uh, so that PVC pipe here can be called a piezometer or if you will a well, a well without a pump, that's just a piezometer so it's just a hole that you know, gives you access to the water table so you can see it. Now if you drop that slug so you displace a volume of water in that well, right? now the head is going to go up in that well, in that piezometer, right? so if you displace the water up and then observe it go down and down and down and down over time, this is what you have on the right hand side here. So this is H and this is time and you can see that it will regain its original level right over time and that would be your original level right here. Okay. So again this is a piezometer and a slug test you, you can displace the water and observe it go down you know back down to its original level. So it's similar to that first illustration I gave you uh, where you know you pour some water and look it go down over time same concept so that you can calculate some aquifer properties that we'll see in the uh, next lectures uh, okay so this is it for this lecture uh, and i'll see you in the next one thank you